hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc back with another video so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that i am wearing right now super easy look i've been getting a lot of requests for like clean makeup and soft glam so i came up with this look i actually posted this in my motives group a while back and a lot of you guys wanted me to recreate this look so so I feel like this look can pretty much be worn everywhere for anything. I mean, it's definitely work appropriate. You could wear it to an interview. You could wear it for a date night. That's what I'm getting ready to do because Maurice and I are going to be having lunch in a little bit together. So this is going to be like a date look. But you could literally swap out the lip and you can make it more bold or dramatic or you could tone it down and do like a neutral lip i decided to go with a pink shimmery kind of lip for this particular look um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy it i'm not gonna let this be a super long intro so we're gonna get straight into the video started with the tutorial do not judge me by my hair do not judge me but i'm going to go in and moisturize my skin first with this l'oreal revitalift moisturizer which i actually really like um it's a really good moisturizer it's anti-aging and it's just a really good moisturizer so i'm gonna apply that all over my face so now I'm going in with this Luminaire Pore Minimizing Serum. It's really, really good. And I like it because it pretty much does the same thing as the Benefit Professional. You basically just apply it to areas where you have pores and it helps to minimize the pores and just gives a nice flawless finish. So when you go in with your foundation, it just goes on really smooth and flawless. So now I'm going in with this Maybelline Shine Free Powder. And if you guys are not familiar with what I'm doing, this is pre-baking. So I would only suggest doing this if you are oily, but for me being super oily, I have to go in and pretty much bake my face, the areas where I get oily, and then I wipe it off right before I do my foundation because a lot of times, even with the mattifying found, um, primers, they just don't work for me with keeping down the oil and the shine so yeah now i'm going in with my brows so i am first taking this wet and wild lip liner in the shade brandywine and i am outlining my brows with that And next, I'm going in with this Jordana pencil, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just going to fill in my brows with that. I like to use two different shades because I feel like the brown by itself is just a little bit too harsh. And then the kind of purple burgundy by itself is too harsh. But when I mix them two together, I really like the color outcome. Now to clean up my brows, I'm going to be using the Brow Gal Highlighter Pencil, the nude shade, and I'm just going to apply that stick concealer to the bottom of my eyebrow and then I'm just going to kind of wipe it away and as you can see, it just really helps to clean up that line to give a nice sharp dimension to the brows. Next, I'm going in with this Motus Eye Base, and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyes with my fingers, and this is just going to give a little bit of coverage to the veins that we have peeking through, and it's also just going to help your eyeshadows to stand out, and it's just a really nice base to start off with. And now I'm going to go in to my palette here and I'm going to grab Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. And I'm just going to apply that to my eyes just to kind of set the base and serve as a transition shade. And then I'm going to clean that off, of course, with my color switch. And then I'm going to go into this shade here. This is Cappuccino by Motives Cosmetics. So I'm just going to apply this to my crease and work it all the way up to the upper part of my eye as my second transition shade. Okay. 
now for the start of the show i'm going in with the anastasia beverly hills aurora palette but first we are going to grow in with this Too faced glitter glue i always recommend using a glitter glue anytime you're going to use a shimmery eyeshadow or a glitter because i just feel like it helps it to adhere to your eye and it makes it a little bit more pigmented as well so i'm going to go in with this flat brush and i'm going to grab this shade here called luna i believe it's called yeah luna and i'm gonna apply that to the outer part of my eye not going all the way into the inner part of my eye because we are going to go over it with another shade but as you can see this is so pigmented and beautiful by itself i absolutely love this shade Next, I'm gonna go into this shade here called Lyra, and I'm going to apply that to the inner part of the eye, and then I'm also gonna go over where we applied that other shade, and they just blend so perfectly together, and they just kind of do their own little hieroglyphic blending kind of thing. I just really love how the color turns out. And once that's blended, I'm going to go back into the um, glitter glue and I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of the eye just to help our inner corner highlight stand out. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this shade called Eclipse. And now for liner, I'm going to use the Motives Cosmetics Liquid Liner in the shade Mior. And I'm going to start off with a very thin line just to make sure I'm super, super close to the lash line. And then I'm going to slowly extend the wing. I don't want it to be a super bold, bold wing because this is a soft look. And I want to make sure that you guys can still see all of the shimmer. I definitely don't want to take away from the eyeshadow, but I do want to have a nice winged liner because we are not doing any lashes today. For mascara, I'm going in with this It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara that I got in my Sephora Play. I actually do like this mascara. It's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to be applying two coats of that to my lashes. Eyes are done, so now I'm going to wipe away all of that bakage that we applied earlier so we can get ready to go in with foundation. As I'm oily, I'm going to go in with this Becca Ever Matte Primer just to help cut down on the oil. If you are not oily, you can definitely skip this step, but for me, I have to have a mattifying primer. So I'm just going to be dotting this on to areas where I get oily. And I'm going to mix two foundations together. I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect in the shade 04, medium beige. And I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, also in the shade medium beige. So I'm just going to mix those together on the back of my hands. And then I'm just going to start dotting it all over my face. And to blend that out, I'm going to be using a flat foundation brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Ah! 
Next, I'm gonna go in with this Modus HD powder, which is a brand new product. I'm so super excited about it. So as you can see, it is just going to blur any imperfections and set the foundation. And this has zero flashbacks. So definitely check this out if you're on the hunt for a good powder. And now I'm gonna go in with my favorite Motives bronzer in the shade Miami Glow. And I'm just going to apply that using a backwards three motion and then i'm going to go in with this Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i'm going to use that for my contour shade and for blush i'm going to take this lancome blush brush and i'm going to take this motives blush this is called lust and i'm going to apply that and back into the aurora palette you know i had to go in here for my highlight so we are going to use this green shade called Helia OMG. Like, do you see this pigment? Like, girl, I absolutely love it. So I'm applying this to all of the high points of my face, top of my cheekbones, down my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And then I just wanna make sure that it's blended in. So I'm going back in with that foundation brush. And as you can see, this highlight was giving me all types of life. I was definitely feeling it. So now I'm setting my face with the Ulta Brand Matte Finish Setting Spray. For lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Dark Pink Frost, which is a really, really pretty, just natural lip shade. Um, it's a shimmery pink, but it's not like over the top, so I think it'll be perfect for like date night or even like a job interview or something like that. And then I'm gonna go in with this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream. Right, so this is the completed look makeup and hair i never ever 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 wear my natural hair out so please let me know what you guys think about the hair um i really didn't feel like blow drying it today so i just figured i would let the curls out for a day or two i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it like this before i decide to straighten it but yeah definitely give me feedback on the hair and i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did you already know what to do don't forget to like this video leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you are not already thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time in my next video bye